Hey everybody, this is Josh, the 98 Noto. Coming today with another topic, just kind of something that's been on my mind a little bit, especially with some current events that are going on. Today's topic is going to be women in baseball. And the reason why this is coming up is because the Colorado Rockies had a woman, uh, a part of their broadcast team, and there were a lot of trolls that uh, really went after her and went after the team because of this. And, and this is a topic that uh, is pretty close to, to my heart because I have two daughters and I want them to develop the same love for baseball and sports in general that I have. And so when I see that there are women who are trying to break into the Major League Baseball as players, as coaches, as broadcasters, you know, I'm all for it. Because I have once again, I have two daughters and I want them to be able to, to love the game and know that there is still a chance for them to, to be a part of it, um, not just as a fan, but in a, in a career sense, having a job and being a part of it in that, that way. So this is a topic I want to talk about for a little bit. You know, a lot of people who follow 98 Know It All, you have the same mentality I have, that if a person um, is knowledgeable and is talented, then man, woman, it doesn't matter. You, you can put them into the, the, the broadcast booth and let them do their job. You know, once again, as long as they know the game, and they have the talent to perform the, the, the role, perform the duty, and, and be good at it, then who cares if it's a, a guy or a girl? And so a lot of people have that same mentality. Once again, now you know it all. The fans, you guys have been great. You guys have been supportive. But there's a lot of people out there who aren't like that. And that's why I want to kind of touch on this and make sure I have it out there where people see, hey, that, you know, this is where we stand from now you know it all. Um, I know that Kelly feels the same way. He has three daughters. He wants the exact same thing for his daughters. He wants them to have the ability to um, love the game and be a part of it um, if they choose to be. And that doesn't mean they have to be. It doesn't mean they're going to be. But they have the ability to at least try and be a part of the game. And so I was thinking back to uh, a series I wrote. I think it's been, well, 2016. So it's been almost two years. And it was Women in Baseball. And the first article that I wrote was talking about women wanting to play. And there was a, a, a young woman in, uh, in France who was listed on the international prospects list um, as a shortstop. And, you know, I said it back then that, you know, if she's good enough to play, then let her play. And if she's not good enough to play, then don't let her play. I mean, that, it's, it's really that simple. Same with the guys. If a guy is good enough to play, you play him, and if he's not, you don't. That's how it should always be. You play the best. Last season, the Victoria Harbor Cats, which are uh, part of the West Coast League, a wood bat league and summer league, had a female pitcher. Now, she wasn't throwing high 90s or anything like that, but she had good control, she could get strikes across, she got outs. Now, was she the best pitcher in the league? No. Were there pitchers who could have taken her spot? Probably, but at the same time, she was able to get the job done. She was able to get in, get outs, and get off the field, which is what a pitcher is supposed to do. So, I know a lot of people were like, oh, well, she doesn't throw as hard as the boys. If you get outs, I don't care how hard you throw. One of my favorite pitchers of all time is Jamie Moyer. Moyer did not throw hard, but he got outs. So that's what I look at when, when I'm looking for a player, specifically a pitcher, are they getting outs? Male or female, I don't care. If they can get outs, they're doing their job. That's all I care about. So, you know, the Harbcats once again had, had a female last year. She was part of Team Canada. I think that she's actually coming back this year to play with them again. So I'm hoping to actually get to see her play. Last year she uh, left the team to go back to college or back to her university before the Harbcats came down to, to Longview to play against the Black Bears. So I'm hoping this year I get to see her. They're supposed to play each other. Um, early on this season, so I'm excited to see that. But once again, if you have the talent to play and to get the job done, why wouldn't you? You know, why wouldn't you be allowed, male or female? You know, also in uh, the, the series that I wrote, I talked about female coaches and female scouts. And honestly, I have known some women who know more about the game than 99% of the guys I know. They're intense, they're competitive, and when it comes to knowing the, the details, the fundamentals of the game, they know it. And if someone said, hey, 
I want to put them as a coach or as a scout, I have no problem with it because they know the game. They know the game and they have the talent to do the job. And you know, I, I had this discussion a long time ago um, with a few people as to whether or not a major league baseball team would accept a female coach. And my answer was very simply, of course they would. Now, would it be awkward that at first, you know, having a female in the, in the locker room? Maybe for a day, but they're used to having reporters who are female in the, in the locker rooms. And honestly, the moment that a female coach can show the guys, hey, I know the game. I know it well enough to be able to instruct you and teach you. I know the strategy. I know what it takes to win. And as a coach, I can help you win. The guys won't care. That's it. Right then and there, the discussion's done. They're moving forward. They're ready to play. They want to win. And if it, if it means a female is their head coach and that's their best chance to win, they want to win. Guys at the major league level want to win a World Series. They don't care what it takes. If it's a male coach, female coach, whatever it takes to get to that World Series and win it, that's what they're going to do. So do I think that guys at the major league level would would ignore a female coach just because she's female? No, they would ignore a coach, female or male, if they had no clue what they're doing. But if they know what they're doing, and if they got the skill and the talent to be there, they'll listen. The guys will listen. I, I promise you, winning will eliminate a lot of other issues. And then the third part of my series was talking about uh, women as announcers in the broadcast booth. And this was actually brought up initially because ESPN, ESPN had um, Jessica Mendoza join their broadcast team. And this is actually what kind of sparked the whole um, series. And a lot of people were like, well, what does she know? She didn't play baseball. How can she um, talk about uh, commentary and, and break down different plays, things like that? Not realizing, or some did realize, she was a tremendous athlete in her own right. She was a softball player, which I know, baseball and softball are different. But there are more similarities than there are differences. And there are still plays, there's still force outs at first. There's still sacrifices, there's still hits, there's still, I mean, the basics of the game are there. And beyond that, not, she was good at softball, she was great at softball, but she loved the game of baseball. And she knew the game of baseball and still knows it. And I, for one, I, I actually like listening to her because she brings on kind of a different perspective. And when she doesn't know something, she'll ask the guys, hey, when you were playing, what was it like for you? When did, what did you see? What did you look for? And so she isn't pretending like she's all-knowing. She isn't going in there thinking, oh, yeah, I'm the best broadcaster there is. I know everything. She's going in there sharing the information she has. And what she doesn't have she pulls it from the other announcers, from the other broadcasters, to use that to share with those who are listening. And that's actually a, a talent, a, a great talent for a broadcaster. So, so this whole thing about having you know, issues with women in broadcasting positions bothers me because if they know the game and they love the game and they have the talent to be a broadcaster, why wouldn't you put them in that spot? And I know there are some people out there saying, well, once again, they never played baseball. Well, there's a lot of baseball writers, a lot of broadcasters who never played the game of baseball. But they love the game. They know the game because they've studied it. They've watched it. And they have the talent to be a broadcaster. I mean, there's a lot of baseball writers who never really played the game of baseball. But they love the game. And they've studied the game and they've done their homework to make sure they're, you know, at their best when it comes to writing, when it comes to speaking, when it comes to talking about the game. They, they put in the time, put in the effort. And that's really what's most important. So, you know, for not any know it all, for all you fans who watch this, I want to make it very clear that, you know, my goal when it comes to baseball is to put the best players, the best coaches, the best scouts, the best individuals into every spot. Whether they're male or female, the best get to go in, the best get the positions. And yes, is, is Major League Baseball going to be a male-dominated sport from here till 
the end of my lifetime, of, oh yeah, it's going to be male dominated. But that doesn't mean that a female can't make it, and it doesn't mean we should try and stop them from making it. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's kind of my rant. I know I kind of went on a topic that most of you probably already agree with, but at the same time, I just want to make it very clear where we're at, you know, and where we stand as, um, as, as a page, as a Facebook presence, um, just as a baseball community. So once again, guys, I'm Josh, the Now You Know It All. We'll catch you guys later. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, watch some of our past interviews, past shows. Click like. And guys, thanks for being a part of the Now You Know It All empire. Have a good night.